I'm Marta and uh, I'm a lead game designer for uh, for 11 bit studios and I came here to talk about the authorial voice on, of the system because I'm really interested in how important can, can games be and how can they convey meaning and more deeper deeper thing like a true art form they are so I came here first to talk about it and also to play a lot of great indie games and to meet the indie community because this is always a great pleasure. The starting process of the game, the, the first few bits, for me the most important part is the team, the thing that you want to convey, the feeling, the expression, the artistical statement, the thing you want to talk about. It was the same with Frostpunk, it was the same with This War of Mine, it was the same with my personal projects. There is some statement, there is some experience we want to put in the game. So then we do a research about the experience, we look if there are things that are similar, there are some books, there are some movies, there are some places you can visit, you can go, you can just feel the experience for yourself. Maybe not the one for Frostpunk because there's some brutal thing. We did, I didn't test everything that was there, but you try to just sponge it up inside of you, just to bobble with everything, and then I, I try to create mechanics that will create the same sensation for the player I just got. Before even this war of mine was born, there was that idea that, okay, war is always a great topic in games, because yeah, running and shooting is great, and throwing grenades, and oh my god, it's so awesome, but truly it's not. War has never been fun, and uh, even contrary to the song that war is so much fun, sorry for the digression, but we were starting to think how it's to be a civil person during the war. You are not a soldier, you are not having a gun, and you are hungry, and your friends are dying, and how is that? And we started to read about Sarajevo, and Sarajevo was a big... Uh, inspiration. It was a big history lesson, and of course in Poland we had a lot of struggles in a war sense, so it was also a great pull. So we wanted to show that. We wanted to show that war, it's not fun. It's not guys with guns throwing grenades. They are somewhere over there, but they are real people and they are trying to live their lives. And with Frostpunk, that was the question that actually came a little bit later during the development, but we wanted to ask the player if the end justified the means. If for survival of many, can you sacrifice a little one? Because in this war of mine, the game was about a small group of people, so you wanted to care for them. But what would you do with them if on them the survival of a hundred people would rely, especially in such a catastrophic situation that in Frostpunk that this is the final city and the city must survive? I have a quite particular uh, education for a game designer because I'm an experimental biologist. Actually, I did a lot of genetic related stuff on plants and also I'm a computer scientist. And that's a strange background to go into games. But actually there's a lot of co in common, especially if you are thinking about system design. Because in biology everything is a system, actually. It's a smaller system, bigger system, but it's a great source of uh, inspiration and even to trace from. Uh, biology some systems and just adapt them like I don't know um, prey and a predator situation this is a really basic system then you can put in a game so that is a huge uh, support for my work that I have this whole knowledge I can rely on and the computer science uh, is just the usual stuff I can code so I'm uh, quite quick doing my designs because I can prototype a lot faster and I can do those scripts and all of that. But yeah, that, that systemic approach and that academic approach to game design, I think it's a value and to, to, there's not enough of academic approach to game design. Player is of course a really important part of our work because we do it for them. We all are players. I love playing games and uh, I love to talk with the developers what they wanted to say. But for me, in my creative process, Games are a voice, a voice of a creator, and we want to just speak like every other art form, you want to convey some kind of a meaning. So I'm not sure that putting a twist on your meaning because of the player is the right thing to do. You want to convey something, you want to say something, because you should be responsible for that. And then if the player goes and he adds, oh, we would like that, and we would add like that, and we would add that, then it's not exactly the thing you have said. And 
that's a little bit different. But of course, on the fun term, after the release of the game, the player will tell you they're lacking that, they're lacking that, they're lacking that, and then you can go and add those things just to enhance the experience, but always remembering about the vision you had. Because with this war of mine, from the premiere up to today, there's a lot of players who would really like a zombie mode. And they're writing about the zombie mode, and we are not going to add the zombie mode. So, you know, it's a peculiar relationship between the developer and player. I think games as an art form are maturing. Like, almost 40 years, I think even more, has passed from tennis from two. So like cinema, we are starting to have those divisions. We've got the blockbusters, the Avengers, the Battlefields, they are running, shooting, everything is dying. And for quite a long time, thanks to the indie scene, we've got also that artsy Norwegian movie that is five hours long and only the uh, director and his mother saw it. We've got that. We are still lacking a little bit that uh, entertainment of the middle. Uh, like Christopher Nolan, because his movies are like blockbusters, but Dunkirk also conveys a really strong message. And Inception has, well, you, you can be agreeing with that or not, but it has a really strong message. And games are starting to slowly fill that gap. You've got games like Hellblade with great production values, think you can. They are really a pleasure to play. Pleasure maybe it's not the best best word, but it's a real great experience on a high production value with a really concrete meaning. And this is amazing and this is the thing we want to do as 11 Beat Studio also, that meaningful entertainment. So it's still entertainment, but we are telling something that it's deep to our hearts. And broadly enough, so not only my mom will play it and will say it's great because she didn't understand that. Yeah. <laughs>